Okay, so I'm changing this uh, switch out to a motion switch. So I undid this one screw. See how this box is further back than over here? Well, this is what I was going to show you. The guy that owned this house was an engineer, so I mean, um, a machinist. So, um, look at his idea of using a shim. I, I use plastic shims, everyone does that, but this is pretty, uh, pretty nice. He just uh, got a piece of wood, a dowel, figured out his distance between here and there, and he made himself a custom fitted um, shim. And there's the other one in play down here. Give me a second. Right, um, right in there. And here's the screw that it had set in it. Sorry, let me, uh, let me show you. Check that out. Pretty bad, right? It's pretty cool. So, I think, um, is this hot? Well, I can tell you what, the terminal is loose. I know it's hot. Let me see. Oops. That's interesting. I know it's hot. It's not grounded, so. And I'm not grounded yet. So it should be okay. But yeah, that's pretty, uh, it's pretty nasty loose as far as, this is where your arcing can happen. See how loose that terminal is? Um, and you can see the light going on. Let me turn, let me turn off my, this headlight. And you can see the light flicker in the background maybe. Let me, Let me show you a flicker. That one's secure. But this one is just rolling off. I'm not even unscrewing that at all. So, over time, it must have just worked itself loose from being turning on and off, on and off, on and off. I'm sorry, current going to it on and off. See, it's hot. And see, I can touch hot, a hot wire as long as I'm not grounded. Well, put it this way, I can touch all the one tangent without hurt myself. Um, and this is the neutral, so you won't get any reading, reading from there unless it's back half fed, and it's not, of course. I mean, all greatly. Okay, so put the motion on this one. Just want to share that with you guys.